Can you see what's going on right there? That's insane, right? This is a $330, you can get it for $300, 85 millimeter tilt macro lens. Now, I, I, don't, I don't even understand what I've said, but it's a tilt 85 millimeter macro lens. It's actually very interesting. For $330, you're getting a very fun lens, very solidly made, you know, manufactured. It's an f2.8 lens. It doesn't come with a lens hood, even though it, it looks like it should. It's got 55 millimeter filters, and it's an 85 millimeter focal length, full frame. But when you start tilting, you could get some nasty dignity, right? So it, it will be perfect for APS-C, but then it's going to be a lot longer. But it's 2.8 macro, so it's a one-to-one -one macro that you can tilt. Which is very interesting because say you're doing a macro shot and you want more of your i don't know lens cap to be in focus you tilt it you're actually moving the angle the focus plane you know that's it's a little bit mind-blowing and you know you can use it for miniature photos so if you guys are into miniature photos which is a lot of fun you can make like a, a little city look miniature, you know, like little toys. Or you can use it as a portrait lens because it is 85 millimeters, but it is fully manual and it doesn't have any intelligent connections at the back. So your camera has no idea what f-stop, what duty dars has been used with this lens, right? Very, very side lens. It comes in at 733 grams, so it has quite a bit of weight, which, you know, is why it's very solid because it's all metal and glass there's nothing else here it's very funny because the actual the um aperture is at the front of the lens it's not at the back where it normally is but it's at the very very front and it's it's a very nice aperture it's got 12 aperture blades so 11 elements in eight groups right right in there it's, it's about at the front of the lens right here very odd and so this this tilt thing yeah it's quite interesting because it's got a few different pieces. It's got a lock button, so you can lock it if you don't want this crazy thing tilting. So you can't. So if you unlock it, you can then tilt. If you want to tilt very precisely, on the other side it has a little dial which you spin. And you can very, very nicely dial in the tilt. And if you want to actually flip the focus plane even more, you've got a little, little wheel here next to the actual the bayonet that twists the whole lens 360 degrees. Mind blown? Yes, mind is blown. So all this stuff can be locked, by the way. And um, you're tilting. You're tilting an 85 millimeter macro lens. I mean, I can't say it enough because it's, it's a little bit crazy. So you're rotating your plane of focus. Now you can get this lens in Sony E mount, Canon RF mount, Nikon Z mount, Panasonic L mount, and Fuji X mount. And the minimal focus is 25 centimeters, one to one macro. So we are very, very close. Now it goes from 2.8 to f16, and it's completely declicked. No clicking going on, it's declicked, so you can use it as a filmmaker's lens. All filmmakers' lens have declicked apertures, so it's not going tick, 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 tick when you're filming, right? So that's very interesting. The actual the grip is nice, it's 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 metal, it's all metal, there's no rubber on it, so the grip feels very good when you're actually holding it. And it, it just has a nice amount of resistance, you know, it is built like a tank. It's very smooth when it comes to the um, focus and the aperture. The focus works a little bit harder, the aperture is a little bit smoother, and it does have a very short focus throw, so I would say about, hmm, I don't know, 100 and, 10 degrees maybe it's it's very short so dialing things in you got to be very very careful now you have feet and you have meters so you can you know if, you, if you're if easier with feet you got feet if you're easier with meters you have meters distortion on this lens there isn't really much distortion it's an 85 millimeter so distortion is very small it will get you very nice clean portraits and you know for filming video it's quite interesting because it adds this vintage this arty look to your videos where you can tilt them you know when you're filming that 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 is very interesting it's it's a 
it means that your focus doesn't look natural. It looks like you're using some kind of crazy vintage lens, you know? So that, that, that is very, very interesting with this lens. And when it comes to chromatic aberration and fringing, it's off the charts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, there is a lot going on here. I mean, I actually, one second. I was actually so interested in this company that I picked up their 28 millimeter F13 macro. Now this is a probe lens, yeah? Right there, it's a probe lens. And it's a very good price because it's a third of the price that you can get the allow a probe for. And it's just as good, if not better in some cases. So I will be dropping a film on that. But I asked them to send this out and like, yeah, Phil, we're gonna send it out to you, do a video. So I've been testing it for a while and it really is a very nice lens, very little distortion. It has vignetting on the tilt, so be careful on your full frame cameras. The bokeh is pretty circular in the middle, but towards the sides, you're gonna get like semi-circles going on. So, you know, don't, don't be surprised by that. Focus breathing. <laughs> nightmare. Walking dead nightmare focus breathing on this lens, but I don't think many of you are going to be pulling focus like crazy on this lens. You can put focus, you know, rubber focus gear on it from tilter or small rig, but I don't think it's made specifically for pulling focus, so don't worry about that. Flaring is pretty nice, you know. I'm a big fan of flaring. I like it when things get dirty, you know. It, it, it kind of adds character to the lens, and this lens has a lot of character. So the Astahori 85mm 2.8 macro. It's a fun lens for 300, 300 odd dollars. Well, you can pick it up $300. I'll put some links down below. It definitely is a fun lens. And like I said, if you guys are into miniature photography, this will do the job. If you're into macro photography and you want to change that plane of focus and you don't want to do stacking, for example, boom, you have something really great right here. Any questions, any comments, drop them down below. If you did like my video, give my film a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And, you know, ring the bell. Do it. Gonna catch you on the next one.